Nelson Mandela says that education is the weapon in which we can use to change the world. And Wikipedia defines education as a process of facilitating learning. It's a process that allows you to acquire knowledge, skills, morals, habits, and most especially, it allows you to develop yourself personally. Now, if education is defined so beautifully, why is it that we have found ourselves in a situation where some of us think that education is a scam? I just want to ask you a quick question. How has education failed any one of you? Somebody wants to respond. Okay. So, yes, I agree. But do you think that it is education in general that doesn't prepare you for life or the education system in Nigeria that does not prepare you for life? <laughs> Okay, but unfortunately, I do not agree with that. Because today, do you believe that just sitting in this hall, you are getting educated? So if you are getting educated, that doesn't mean that education is a scam. I'll tell you a story. Five years ago, in January, sometime in 2017, I was the marketing manager of NIIT. So luckily, we had the chance to consult for an IT center that was starting in Kasina. When we had that chance, we were startled with the responsibility of developing content and also recruiting the staff that were going to ensure the smooth sailing of that IT center. I was so excited because I had a candidate in mind. So I gave him a call and I said to him, you know what, I have just the job for you. I hope you have not found a job yet. He said, yes. I said, I have just the job for you. Please send me your CV very quickly. I'd like to put it together with all of the other CVs because I think that you are going to be a wonderful instructor. He was very funny. He was jovial. And then he had just finished school. So I felt education was still fresh. I mean, who best to give a, that guy a job to than somebody that is still willing, right? Someone that just came out of the educational system. And his response left me shocked. He said to me, unfortunately, I would have to decline. And I was gobsmacked. I said, why? I don't understand. He said to me, you know, in the four or five years I have been in the university at al Kalam, sorry to mention the university, he said that I've studied computer science, but unfortunately, I don't know any practical. I don't even know how to use the computer. So I would be a very bad instructor. I said to him, but we're willing to train. He said, I'm really sorry, but I don't think I can do it. At that point, I started to wonder, has the educational system failed us, or have we failed the educational system? Who can answer that? <laughs> so, is it possible that someone will go through a system of education for the period of five years and realize that there is no practical aspect to it, but will not willingly decide to find a way to learn that practical aspect? Is it possible? So it's very possible in Nigeria for someone to go through five years of education, realize that it has not taught him anything that will help him in the future, but he continues to remain in that system. Now, is something wrong with the system or is something wrong with the person? <laughs> okay. So... We are here today because we have found ourselves in a situation where our youth are faced with disillusionment. Now, the problem with disillusionment is it doesn't only question the truth. It replaces the truth completely. 
So some of you believe that education does not happen or education has not helped you to become someone in future because you yourself have not seeked means to improve yourselves. I'll give you a story. I didn't learn how to become a public speaker at the university. I didn't learn how to become an educational consultant in the university. I also did not learn how to become a public speaking coach at the university. All of those things were courses I decided to intentionally take. The first person who got parallel A's in YEC was asked to sit the exams again, right? He was asked to sit the exams, and after that exam, he got a better result than he did the previous time. He has succeeded in stamping the name of Nigeria positively in the map of the world. Do you know what that means? If he wasn't educated, would that have been possible? If he had not decided that he was going to mentor many people, some of us would have gotten discouraged by the point someone doubted that your ability to get nine A's in an exam, you would have gotten discouraged and think that the educational system is not working. Why would someone doubt my ability? But the truth is we have to understand that education is a lot more than what we learn in the four walls of a classroom. Is it true? Education happens while we are seated with a mentor. Education happens while we are seated with a friend. Education happens while we are just waking up from sleep. Sometimes you just figure out something. Education happens when you are seated in a room listening to speakers at a TEDx event. So if education happens like this, why have you not decided to be intentional about learning to become a better version of yourself? Is it the educational system that needs to teach you that? I want to speak about the role that the government needs to play in ensuring that education becomes better. You have all heard that the little amount that goes into education every year is sometime around maybe 7 billion naira. Who knows that? Okay, please go out there and educate yourself. The little amount that goes into education is hardly ever enough. But then again, do you agree that more of that money goes into infrastructure as opposed to content? Do you agree that the content that needs to go into schools needs to be better than it is right now? And if you do not equip teachers with the right kind of qualities to ensure that education happens, that the educational system is not going to improve. We agree with that, right? Then I'll say something. I want you all to remember that it is possible for a lecturer or a teacher to sit down with all of his students underneath a shade and education will happen. So infrastructure is not what we need in education, is it? Infrastructure is beautiful when you put it in place, but when it is not met with the right content and the right hands to make a delivery, it is all but a beautiful nonsense. I also want to remind you that as Nigerians, we are proud people. Do you agree? We like to be known for doing things better than many people. Because we like to do that, we like to learn every single day. When a lot of the people in the world have given up on education, we have remained steadfast. Even when you think education has failed, you still continue to learn. Why have you not given up on education? Because you believe that a person who is educated is still better than the person who is not. 
any day. Isn't it? One more thing I'd like to add is I'd like you to all understand that for education to be what we all want it to be, lecturers and teachers, educators need to be able to give students some key things, which is one, communication ability. How many of you have gone through five years of school and still cannot stand in front of an audience and make a presentation? Please raise your hand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. We all learned how to speak after we left school. So there's actually nothing wrong with it. One of the speakers mentioned that it's important for you to know your problems and be able to fix it. Isn't it? A conscious incompetent. Isn't that what he said? So it means that it is important for you to identify that you have a problem and try to fix it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Education needs to be able to give you the ability to think critically. How many of you have gone through the educational system but still requires the voice of your lecturer to keep ringing in your ears all through your life to be able to do anything positive? Have you decided that you're going to start a business on your own without your lecturer giving you the idea? Without a parent giving you the idea? So it means that education has not benefited you in any way if you do not have the ability to exhibit critical thinking, independent thinking. Think for yourselves. Do you agree that education will be better also if you are able to have a choice in how education works or how education happens? Do you agree? If you had an autonomy in the kind of content that goes into the classrooms that you sit in, do you think that education system would be better? Because some of you can only excel with a passion. Some of you are great photographers. Some of you are artists. Some of you are what? Engineers? It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to learn this in the four walls of a classroom. One more thing is, as time goes on, if we do not equip the youth with the ability to lead, the ability to have problem-solving skills, the ability to be tech-savvy, you can never prepare a youth for the future. Is it possible for you to become a leader tomorrow when you do not even understand your history? Is it possible to lead a people when you do not understand your history? But at one point, history was crammed from the curriculum, wasn't it? So how are we supposed to lead as people when we don't understand our history? So some of the intentional actions that have been taken has not bettered us as people. Is it true? One thing I want you all to take away from here today is if educational system has not given me what I need, I will go out and get what I need in order to succeed. You all have what it takes to succeed as people. If you identify your true purpose in life, how many of you know what you want to become? How many of you are not taking courses that were forced on you by your parents? <laughs> how many of you willingly decided that I'm going to be an engineer today and I'm being an engineer because that is truly what I want? You know, I think we live in this system that our parents continuously want us to need them, right? We have found ourselves in a system where our parents continuously want us to need them. They want us 
to go back to them whenever we want to take, make decisions. They want us to go back to them whenever we want. But the truth is, the day our parents are no longer there, we are lost. A businessman that is educated is better than a businessman that isn't. Have you seen how some of the companies in Kano have had to shut down as a result of the company's owner dying? That has happened, right? But education or learning in business makes you understand that there's need for succession planning. And succession planning is important when a business needs to be sustained. For some of you who want to start businesses, for some of you who want to become independent, for some of you who want to be consultants, if you finish school and you end up as an engineer working in a bank, does that mean that you let go of your passion? If I ask a question, I'd like a response. <laughs> when you are an engineer and then you leave school and, you dis and then the job that comes to you is banking, is that the end of the road? It's not the end of the road, right? Is it still possible for you to pursue that passion of engineering? So do not blame the system of education completely. Yes, it has a role to play in perhaps not allowing you to think independently. But then there's the ability for you to learn also by yourself how to make yourself a better version of yourself. I want you all to leave here today knowing that education is not fully achieved if you cannot apply the things you have learned in school, in your practical life. If you do not make a change in the world. Because education is not measured by the amount of money you have in the bank. I hope you all agree. Some of you think that you need to become like Ali Kotangote, but he has paid his dues, you know, so it takes hard work. And then Ali Kotangote also went to school. He studied business. So if he didn't study business, would it have given him a head start? Perhaps, yes, he has family that supports him. But most importantly, it is important for you to educate yourself on your passion. I believe that it is important to have more institutes that, that we, it's important for us to have more institutes that support passion. We have more institutes that train people on photography. We have more institutes that train people on art. There are so many passions that people are developing daily that needs to be in the school curriculum. So it is important for schools, it is important for the government, it is important for us as individuals to decide that we are going to educate ourselves no matter what happens. We are going to find how we can make ourselves better. One last thing, if you don't agree with education, one last thing it can change in your life is identity crisis. Do you all know what identity crisis is? Identity crisis. Someone I once knew said to me, behind every conflict, behind every conflict, there is a crisis, an identity crisis. Do you believe that all of the insecurity we are facing in our country today is as a result of identity crisis? If we all knew who we, are as we, who we were as people, or who we are as people, and why we need to be here, is it possible for you to choose to kill the next person without a just cause? All of you are seated here today. Why are you not on the Abuja Kaduna uh, Kano Road kidnapping people? Because you know better, right? You know that that's not the way forward. But I don't know if any one of you is considering that. <laughs> so... 
Identity crisis. It's important for you to know who you are as, as a person. And what education does for you is it teaches you how to know who you are as a person. So today, learn to educate yourself. Find ways to improve the education you have known. Find ways to identify the problems that hold you back from being your best self. And go out there and seek ways to get trained on it. When I found out that I have a problem with public speaking, I decided to join Toastmasters. When I decided I wanted to be a public speaking coach, I decided to get Coach Temi Ajibewa to coach me. When I decided I was going to be an educational consultant, I decided to go with International Child Education and Psychology Institute in Europe to learn how to become a good educationist. So all of that I didn't learn in the four wall of a classroom. Some of these courses I took online. And I want you all to understand that please use your Android phones or your smartphones for more than taking pictures with celebrities and posting on Instagram. There's a lot more you can do. Don't sell yourself short. You are better than you think. And you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. So please, today, tell yourself, I am an educator. I am an educator. I will influence the lives of the next person I meet positively. I will see the positivity in education. And I will continue to make my community and my society better, one person at a time.